I just knocked out 3,200 yards. It was a uh, good swim, hard swim, a lot of intervals. Swimming in the 50 meter pool right now, so swimming uh, 100s on the 140 is pretty tough for me to maintain, uh, even with paddles at this point. I am slowly feeling more comfortable in the water, feeling like I'm starting to build up my endurance. Uh, the first 2,000 yards feel pretty good of a workout. Now I'm headed to physical therapy. Got a couple more weeks left before I am done. It's been really good to go there because they, uh, one, doing lots of massage on the adductors and working on loosening up a lot of the muscles around the pubic symphysis. And they make me do all the exercises that I typically don't want to do at home or don't want to take the time to do. So making progress. Overall, the pain within the pubic symphysis is pretty much gone. I don't know that I feel that area too much. If I push down where the incisions were or the insertion point of where the ab attaches to the pubic plate, I can feel that. It's still a little sensitive there. But otherwise, main issue that I continue to have is just that adductor soreness and uh, continuing to stretch, continuing to take that miracle ball and lay it in there and lay on it and stretch those tendons and muscles out. Uh, and that does seem to be helping. And honestly, I think running is helping. Well, I'm back from PT, had a really great session, continuing to work on strengthening the adductors, adding some new exercises like placing a weight plate on the ground and dragging it with my foot to the other leg and walking sideways across the room with that. So that was a burner today. But all of this stuff in the floor is because I mentioned earlier, it is the last day of school and the girls are having a bunch of friends over to swim this afternoon. Oh, it's Mabel. Hey, baby. This girl got a haircut yesterday. Super short, super short. She looks like a puppy again. You look like a puppy. I am held up in my bedroom working while this is going on in my backyard. Test, 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 test. Test one, two. Is this any better? Or are we still having noise issues? It is Saturday morning. That came way too fast. I uh, could use a little more sleep, but it is 5 a.m. and I am headed out for a ride. Yesterday flew by. The girls had a great last day of school. 
Then they had a bunch of friends over to uh, swim. So it was, a, it was a good day overall. But now I am headed out to meet uh, a bunch of folks to go for a ride. We're meeting at 5.30 in the morning and we're gonna ride between two and three hours. And then I have a run afterwards. And that's it for the day, actually. Christina and Evelyn, my youngest, they're headed off to Newport Beach for a Girl Scout event. They're actually staying the night down by the beach and Emmeline and I are just gonna hang out here at the house. And then tomorrow morning, we're headed down and Evelyn is bridging, is what they call it. She's moving from one level of Girl Scouts to the next. So we're doing that tomorrow morning. And, uh, and then Maple, Maple is headed to training tomorrow. So Maple is going away to train and board for a few weeks. She's gonna be gone three weeks, but she's gonna learn off leash training, all kinds of stuff because the girls are out and we are headed on some summer trips. So it's kind of a perfect time for her to go do training and get boarding while we are away. So I recently got a new watch. I went from the Koros Vertex, the original one that I've had for about five years. And I was having issues, I think as I get older, reading the display, it was just darker. And a bunch of people have been raving about the Garmin, the 965, the new displays they're using. So I went ahead and picked that up. And uh, overall, I love it. The, the display is beautiful. The watch is great, but I'm ready to turn off the training uh, recommendations uh, constantly telling me that I'm not ready to train. Good morning. Good morning. Look at this guy and his legit bike. I know, it's real. I almost wore that pretty. shirt. We could have been matchy matchy. Still Varlo. I have the vest, but I have the white vest. That matches this one? Mm-hmm. today past podcast guest riding the brand new gravel bike, gravel bike. i'm so jealous are you gonna do uh the the gravel race up in big bear maybe maybe michael d three hours on the bike. Now I got a 30 minute, nice and easy run. Like nines, 9.30s. <sighs> that run felt horrible. I think I overbiked and uh, I am exhausted. It just felt like the legs would not fire. Definitely the right leg, adductor, hip flexor, tender. This feels really weak. Time to fuel. Maybe my watch is right. I was at 1% recovered. Time to go home and rest.
Well, I just took an Epson soak on the legs. I was definitely feeling the uh, adductors during that run, so. And I am spent, so maybe my watch is correct. I think I'm gonna crash out for a little while. It's just Emmeline, Maple, and I here for the afternoon and the evening. The girls have left for Newport Beach. We won't see them till tomorrow, so I think Emmeline and I are gonna take the dog to dinner. We go to Lazy Dog and uh, maybe if Maple behaves, we'll get her a puppuccino at Starbucks. That's Emily's favorite thing to do. My buddy and co-host of the OC Endurance Podcast, Tony, is racing in Hawaii today. Uh, I think there's something going on with his timing because it isn't picking up every single time. It's currently showing him in sixth, but I believe he's moving faster than most of the guys. That was at 29 and a half miles on the bike. Uh, one through four is now on the run. So I am pretty sure Tony should be coming up on here anytime. Much better after a nap. Ready to go get some food? Ready to go get some food? Dogs have to learn to get in a seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having a fried chicken sandwich plain as can be. nest. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. I slept in a little bit today trying to get my body to recover. My watch still says <laughs> my recovery percentage or uh, status is one and it says to keep resting. Uh, I probably got about seven hours sleep last night which is good. Uh, right as I was going to bed Man, these birds are chirping. Right as I was going to bed, the Ironman Hamburg was starting and uh, started watching that, watching the swim, Jan Ferdano. Then woke up this morning to uh, a bunch of chatter on OC Endurance Discord that a cyclist, one that was racing in Ironman Hamburg, was hit head on by a moto. So the driver of the motorcycle and a cameraman hit a cyclist head on. Uh, the cyclist is in critical condition. The moto, the driver, uh, apparently has passed and it sounds like the cameraman is uh, cameraman camera woman is okay or at least not in critical condition this is just really frustrating uh, when I was at uh, the world championships last year car pulled in front of two cyclists luckily no one died not long after that another incident uh, the race leader I believe uh, taken out so this is, uh, something has to change. Uh, there seems to be a lot of frustration in the community. Uh, there were zero comments on it on the broadcast and not blaming the commentators. They may not have any idea what was going on. They may not have had any news, but um, I'm sure we will talk about this on the podcast. So I don't think I'm gonna train this morning, maybe later this afternoon. Um, just the fact that I am feeling pretty tired, a little run down, figure I better give myself some recovery so that I can go into the week, Monday, hitting it hard. Uh, maybe this evening, afternoon, I'll, uh, I'll get in something, but for the moment, I'm gonna let my body continue to recover. In about an hour, Emmeline, Maple, and I are headed to Newport Beach to watch Evelyn's uh, bridging ceremony. Right now, I need to check out the garden, water a little bit, our peach tree, there are so many peaches, I cannot eat peaches fast enough. We made peach jam, uh, they're just falling off. Every single morning, more peaches. So I gotta get those off the ground before they go bad. There are going to be 
so many avocados this year. I cannot wait. And this fig tree, this fig tree is out of control. Can barely get around it now. There are a bunch of figs hiding in here. There are apples everywhere. Lots. Lots and lots and lots of apples. Can't wait. And the zucchini. And crazy, crazy tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Whoa, tomatoes. So many tomatoes. Ready? All right, we arrived in Newport Beach. We are at the Girl Scout facility, which is right by the beach. Awesome place. And now, time to set up all of the festivities. That's their job. No, that's, that's our job. That's their job. No, that's why I'm here. Not me. Why am I invited to everything? To carry, to tear down, to take video, to take pictures. Is he good at that? <laughs> yes, I'm good at labor. Between Brownie and Junior is now his juniors. They have to plan everything. I pledge allegiance. We are back from Newport Beach. The bridging went well, and it is now time to take the mapes to training. It's sad. You're going to be gone for three weeks. You have no idea what's coming. But we can't wait until she's back. Yes. And then we can take her places like the beach and let her off her leash and let her run and Dog maybe she'll beaches. get in the water. Dog beaches, yes. So. And you can go hiking with her in the morning. Right? Yeah. Hiking. A little hiking off leash. It's for your safety, it's for your own good. Well, Emmeline and I are back from dropping Maple off. It's pretty sad to be leaving her for three weeks. It's a really long time, but the girls are in camp all next week doing arts and movie making, and then in Florida the next week, and then the following week they are in Vermont. So it really worked out to be the best time for her to go do boarding and to go do training. But I think that's it for this weekend. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope your training is going well. My training, I think, is doing pretty darn well. Yes, yesterday I probably went harder than I should have. I was tired. I took the day to recover today. Sometimes you gotta listen to the body and take a day off. Now, just gonna relax. Everybody's taking their showers, gonna find a movie to watch, and just kick back for the rest of the evening. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for the likes and the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.